What up YouTube, it's your boy Shane coming back to another video. Now today's video, I got another banger for y'all, man. Listen, and this one is gonna be titled for the steppers, you know, for the steppers. If you don't know, I've been back in A school after being out in the fleet and all that, so I'm back in A school now. And I'm walking around base and I'm seeing people in the barracks and y'all boots is really slacking. And somebody told me like, yo Shane, you need to make a video because I was doing somebody's inspection and they really didn't even know how to shine their shoes, I mean shine their boots. So here I am, you feel me? I feel I'm gonna make this video so that way we can eliminate this problem where y'all walking around looking dusty, you feel me? So we gonna hop straight into the video. Let's get it. So yeah, right now, man, I'm showing y'all, um, showing y'all how the boots is looking before right now. I actually took a, a week off from shining my boots. I used to try to shine my boots every day, but I took a week off from shining my boots just so I can make this video for y'all. Yeah, so it's my first time doing like a voiceover. I mean, I didn't feel like talking during the video, so I'm doing y'all a little voiceover right now. All right, so I'm gonna be showing y'all what y'all need. So boom, this is the uh, this is the standard the Kiwi shoe shine kit that you can get from you get that from boot camp. You get it from your regular uh, military store. I'm pretty sure they sell it like Walmart, all that. So I got the regular shoe polish. I don't I don't add a parade gloss. And then you got the first brush was um that's the one that you use to knock off all the polish. And then the, the second brush was the one that you use for um like smoothing in the polish. And I use cotton balls instead of the rag. Because I, I, cotton balls is a lot easier to do circular motions and just a lot easier to manage and throw away and use new ones. And also don't forget the water. So for you're gonna start off, you're gonna, you're gonna take them laces out. Take all them laces out because you're gonna want to get to that tongue, the tongue of that boot. I always find some, some trap dirt up in that thing. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta get all that out, all that, all that gunk. That's that gunk down there. That's that gunk. Say, all right, man, I'm showing it for long, man. Golly. So, yeah, you're gonna take that brush and you're gonna, you're gonna start to just knock all that dirt off. Any loose debris, any dirt, dust, anything. You're just gonna knock everything you can off that boot with that. take that first brush that I got right there that's the one that you actually put inside the polish for spreading polish around large surfaces like for like when you do shining the whole boot like you just if you just was like touching it up during the week shining the toe box you're not gonna use that you just gonna use a cotton ball off the rip but right now when you're doing it I recommend shining your boot like the way I'm doing it right now like probably like once a week during the week you could just touch it up with the cotton ball Yeah, go ahead and spread the uh, spread the boot open. Go ahead and put that polish everywhere you can get it, man. I don't really like to put the polish too high up on the boot just because I don't want the uh, polish to touch my NWUs and all of that. But you know, to each his own. I look I look kind of crazy right now doing that, but what you doing with this? You just knocking all that loose polish off that you just put. So. It's, the boot is gonna take up some of the polish, but the rest of it is not gonna like, feel me, it's not gonna absorb to it, it's not gonna receive it. So you gotta just brush that off. Or it's just gonna be dull, your boot's gonna be dull. And it also conditions, like kind of conditioning the leather also. So you wanna go back in with round two, round two, Rocky Bell Bull, go ahead, put that polish up on that thing. So yeah, go ahead and knock that loose dirt off. I mean, knock, knock that loose polish off that boot, man. You know, just go ahead and knock that off. See, there you go. I'm showing you how it's looking right now. It ain't shining, it ain't glistening, but that's not the purpose right now. You don't, you don't need the whole boot to shine. You just want it to be conditioned and you want it to be blackened. You know what I mean? 
the, your, your toe box is what's going to talk for you. I'm going to show you, you. You're going to get that toe box going. So right now, I'm soaking that cotton ball, right? But I'm going to squeeze out 90% of that water. I just want it to be damp. I want that damp cute. I want that, I want that damp cotton ball. I'm going to dip it in that, in that good old polish right there. And then we're going to start doing small circles. You don't need too much polish, man. Just go and start off with a little bit. You know what I mean? A little bit's a lot. Start doing them circles, them, them tiny circles. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm showing y'all that's when when you see it, the toe box looking like that, that's how you know you're on the right path to success right there. I mean, when it start to dry up a little bit and a little bit of shine going to it, so you're gonna hit it with that water. That water gonna bring it out, man. I'm telling you, you keep that boot, you keep that boot moist. Man, I can't say that word. You keep that boot moist. You keep that thing moist, you keep that thing wet, it's gonna be shining, man. I'm telling you right now. You can see that ring light busting. Busting through the toe box of that thing, because that thing is shining. And the more you put that water, and the more that that clean cotton ball water action, oh man, man, you shining on me, you shining on me, you you stepping for real. You know what I'm saying? So now you are gonna get that other cotton ball that you had. You gonna dip that thing back in that in that uh in that polish. You gonna, you know, it's one of the things. I just did it for the video. I don't usually shine the back of my boot, but I'm just showing y'all that you can if you really want to. Now, I ain't saying go crazy with it. Like, you know what I mean? You're going to be mad somebody step in the back of your boots. So, just that's why I don't do it. But, yeah, I'm just showing you that. Any hard surface will, will shine if you want to put the work in for it. So, yeah, I squeezed a little bit out just because I ain't want that thing drip, drip too much. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. Have that wet cotton ball on that dry polish action. Keep that thing moist. Keep that thing wet. That's the motto for this for this um, for this video today on this boot, if you keep that boot moist, you gonna be straight. And you could uh, shine the side tabs right there, but I don't recommend it, man. I don't I don't really care for the way it looks, but to each his own. If you wanna do that, do that. As you can see, that boy that boot is looking real moist and real wet right now, and that thing looking glossy. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm showing you a little trick, like a bonus. Uh, if you wanna get the front of your boot shining that that uh rubber that rubber that's in the front so you're gonna put some thick coats of that, of that polish on there thick coats you can't put no thin one put, put some thick coats on there like i just did grab yourself a lighter now, don't hurt don't burn yourself now you're gonna go ahead and put add heat to that you're gonna melt what you're doing is you melting that polish into that boot into that rubber you staining it basically because that that rubber, you ain't gonna, don't worry, you ain't gonna damage that rubber. Now I don't really advise it for uh, fire shining like the toe box unless you know what you're doing. Like I know what I'm doing if I want to do it, but I don't advise that for y'all. Y'all beginners right now. Y'all don't even understand the the, uh, the the moist and wet policy yet. So just go ahead and stay amateur right now. But that that fire hitting hitting that rubber, so you see making that thing bust out like that. Yep, yep, yep. And this is official, man. Don't be sharing this with people that ain't official. Stay official. The key is to keep it light. You don't want to burn nothing. You ain't trying to stay on it too heavy. And then you're going to take that cotton ball. You're going to dip it back in that water. And you're going to go over it. You're gonna, this is going to be key throughout the whole process. Of this. You, you're keeping that thing moist. So I'm going back over. I'm going back over the spot. I just fire shined. You know, that's what's going to make it uh, sparkle. Now, I advise that you put, I messed up. I advise you put your shoelaces back inside your boot before you start shining your toe box. Okay, because it started to scratch up on the toe box a little bit, but that's fine. I won't be too worried about it because, you know, we got we got a whole sink full of water. You know what I'm saying? That's, that water going to bring that boot straight back to life no matter what. See, you see what I'm saying? Hit it shit, straight back with that, with that water. Now, you about to see what I'm talking about. Look how that boot is hit. Oh my gosh. Look how that thing hitting like that. Whew. Man. 
See how clean that boot look? But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you grab my social media that's right here. And let me show y'all a quick one. This one, this right here, this without no light on it for real, besides like the window being open right now, but. But yeah, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you get all that. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Make sure you stay official like Referee the Whistle. Let's go.